All right, watch fans. I know that uh, for the past year, I have had um, several videos and I've done it in this house and I know explained that I am moving. And I wanted to show, I wanted to show the group what my workshop looks like. So you can kind of get an idea of uh, what a basic, now they call them watchmakers. I'm not a watchmaker. I don't really believe in using that term. I am a watch aficionado and watch repair person, if you will. Uh, I don't really build watches. Sometimes I can take parts from other watches and put them together and make a nicer watch. But I wanted you guys to see what sort of what my workshop looks like because I even though I wouldn't say that I'm a novice at this point uh, I would say that I am somebody who um, really is is certainly not an expert but somebody who uh, fixes watches uh, and is learning and so I've got a good solid basic tool set so although I intend to have certain videos uh, how-to videos over the next uh, uh, few months um, I did want to show at least my workshop before I clear it out because I'm getting ready to pack and my watch stuff I'm going to pack up. I'm going to have movers come in and take everything, but I want to make sure that my watch stuff is is uh, put away uh, and not included in the normal stuff. So now I'm going to take I'm going to take you off here and show you what my workshop looks like. So I've been attached to this ring light this entire time. Um, this workshop I built, it's not saying a whole lot, of course, but it is a uh, pretty nice workshop. I bought a lot of parts from Home Depot and stuff just from uh, Habitat for Humanity, some nice cabinet doors. I keep all my tools in here, uh, which I know can sometimes add dust so people can rightfully criticize me. Um, but this is my workshop as a whole, and I will try and back up as much as possible so you can get a good picture. Um, it is not just a workshop uh, for watches. It also has uh, a lot of other tools that I use for various things. Anything that really I kind of want to be air conditioned or just small things I keep in here. So I'll kind of go through some things. Uh, I built out this workshop, so this was really just a concrete uh, room in my house and I put in drywall and the pegboard. It's all completely insulated. This is my atomic radio clock that I use and I set my time to. Um, I have several outlets on a GFCI. Uh, this is my, um, what's it called, demagnetizer. And I kind of have a shelf. When this is out of the way, I just tuck it away. Uh, and it runs on USB, and I've got a USB there, and I'll go ahead and turn this off because I don't need it on right now. Uh, I've got some other projects just kind of scattered around. Most of these are quartz, but there are some mechanical watches. You can see how many literally watches I have. At some point, these will all end up with a review <laughs> if I find the time. This is a cool uh, uh, Caravel uh, clock, desk clock. It's very cool. Um, I just have rows and rows of projects. Some of them I even have uh, separated out. I've got a lot of diver watches I'm working. I've got a basket of tools. Anything that I pretty much will need to access at any given time that I want to be able to access quickly during the video or while I'm working. Uh, I've got my um, magnifiers. Uh, I always keep a lot of extra watch straps, so that's in here. And I do that for the watches that I restore and rebuild. I got, I got a lot of watches in here. Um, some other things, you know, obviously that's not for watches, certainly not because they're magnetized, but I've just got a lot of projects. Um, I think that's a 732. Uh, also very nice watch. Uh, I need to get it running. Um, I've got some good, uh, chronographs, some old chronographs from back in the day. Uh, just some fantastic watches. I just keep all my tools in here. Uh, anything that I need, um, I've got my the grease, anchor grease, and here I've got probably five different kinds of uh, tweezers that you need, different openers, um, little files that I use, everything's in here, uh, the sticks, and, and really, right, somebody who is a true watchmaker, somebody who has a little bit finer 
uh, detail and is working on a little bit more expensive watches, right? Like the most I've done in here is an Omega or my um, Accutron, right? Uh, but people who work on Rolexes and stuff like that are not really going to keep all their tools like this. They're going to be organized separately. Uh, so again, this represents somebody who is at my level, which is somebody who enjoys working on watches and is still learning, considers themselves to be a novice. I can rebuild a mechanical movement in no time and, and I enjoy it, but I am definitely not an expert. I got my polishing compound. Um, a, uh, I used this early on. This is to set hands, but quite honestly, I will tell you, I found it much easier to use this instead. Um, this is much easier than this. This, quite honestly, you put a movement there, it falls off the side. I, I almost don't use it anymore. I use this much more, and I just hold the hand with, with the uh, tweezers in one. I got my UV glue. Uh, I've got my crystal, uh, you know, so that I can, you, you put the crystal on here and then you can remove it and tighten it with this. Um, I've got my sanding stones, perfect cut, and I sand down uh, hands and whatever else I need to. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got my stack of watches that are in various states of repair or they just work and I've hung them up here. Like this one, there's no reason to be here. This is like a $500 watch. And a fantastic one at that, but I just stuck it there. This one, <laughs> I'll do this one at some point. It's fun. I got that fixed. Um, and, you know, I just put my my parts here. I'll just kind of go over some other ones. This is a fantastic watch. This is a, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Marcel and C Diver. Very nice skin diver. Um, just, I have tons and tons and tons of projects waiting. Uh, you can kind of see some really fantastic ones uh i just it's you know it's gonna be a while uh before i get to all these uh, i've got some that i've taken apart some vintage watches some really old ones i've got my uh what is it called the uh ultrasonic cleaner and then i've got the special cleaner that i use um, I've got the timer and I got another outlet here. Always have Scott towels. This controls my overhead light. If you guys have ever heard that. Um, I've got another chronograph, vintage chronograph in there. Skin diver, gonna be fantastic. Can't wait to fix that. Just, I have a ton. And you can see I've gone through different phases. Like here's my, my um, LCD craze and then I did LEDs and then I went through some tank watches. These are all ones I need to fix bunch of other ones I still haven't worked on yet and then of course the mat that I use I use blue tape I don't know if you guys have ever seen it but I use the blue tape to designate where the camera goes there's my little piece in the middle I got my weight uh, scale my light um, my screwdrivers very important to have a good set of screwdrivers you don't want to just go buy a bunch of garbage screwdrivers you really need a good set and you really want Bergeron oilers, um, oiling sticks, and I've got more sets of tweezers. I really have a fully stocked workshop for basic, basic watch repair um, and, and maintenance. Now I've got another uh, side which is less refined. <laughs> it's also the room where I have my water softener. Um, I've got a bench grinder, God forbid. I do actually use this sometimes for some of the movements that I clean. I've got my uh, my uh, case press. And this one, this is a tool that I am very proud of. Um, I got this for a pretty good deal. It's not a Bergeron, but uh, it is the same style that a lot of people use. Um, and it's very expensive. You can get it um, sometimes for under $200 but usually it can be uh, upwards of about 700. I got some other watches that I haven't yet opened. Um, they're still in the box and I have a few others somewhere. I don't know where to put them yeah, up there. I've also got some other tools. I got fuel pumps, some LED lights, a ring doorbell, <laughs> oil, some other stuff. And then I've got uh, watches that I'm keeping, all the original boxes and watches that I'm selling or at some point will sell. Those will all come with me. Um, I'm not going to have the movers move those. And I just got a bunch of other, like a big mess of watches in here. Um, I've got some other watches. 
Uh, I've got a whole row of crystals, uh, some ones that I've fixed and that I need to put up for sale. Again, more watches, a little unorganized. Uh, I need to go through that. And these boxes, all, all these boxes are filled with basically a mess like this. And I don't know if I showed this, but I've got some movements in various states of repair. These are ones that are common movements and I pull uh, parts off of them. Now there's some really good movements in here. Uh, I mean, not really good ones, but just the common ones. And these are some watches that I intend to fix. Sometimes I'm just missing one or two pieces, but um, I can usually pull them apart from over here. Uh, back to this again. I have all my other additional pieces, bags, finger uh, protectors, straps, black gloves. Everything is in here uh, fully stocked. And I'm going to, and some of my daughter's artwork, which is some cool stuff. What can I say? But uh, just wanted to show this before I uh, push out my last couple videos, which were done before this one. But I'll be issuing this one next, just because I can finish this quick. <clears throat> and I wanted you guys to just kind of see uh, sort of where I've been working. And for the record, you can see how high this is. When I sit here, my arms are straight out in front of me and I don't really have to lean down. Very important for when you're working on watches, you want it to be very high. This is also a nice workbench that I can work on because even standing at six foot three, this is uh, not a far reach. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will take a couple videos for me building my new workshop and I will start that video series in, um, probably a few weeks because I will be at my new location in Florida and so I'll take a picture it's going to be in the garage I can put air conditioning and power so I hope you all enjoy this thank you very much